Hello, my name is Sandy Birchall and I'm a designer at CraftsyPrint.com. I'd like to demonstrate for you today how to make one of my 3D cards. Uh, this one's called Girl Teddies and the cup number is cup 1284034 underscore 425. The tools that you'll need to make this card are very simple. Just a pair of scissors, a pair of decoupage scissors, some 3D pads and a glue stick. Although the card looks quite complicated, it really is very simple and easy to make. Um, in fact, I think my dog could do it, it's that simple. Actually, I don't have a dog. But if I did have one, what I meant to say was, I think even my husband could do it. Probably get into trouble for that later, but never mind. Right, so when you buy the kit from Crashy Print, you get six sheets in the kit. This one I've actually printed onto card. Uh, this is 200 GSM or 110 pounds. I personally prefer to use photo paper and this is glossy photo paper and is 260 GSM. I just think it makes the colours look far more vibrant but it's your preference. So once you've printed out your, your six sheets, uh, cut everything out uh, including all the white spaces, the slots etc. And then what you'll do, uh, there's two pieces, so this one for instance, you've got two pieces and you'll just glue them back to back with the glue stick. Very simple. So then you'll end up with these pieces here. So all together you'll have five pieces. Okay. The main tent of the card that I call it um, it's got a slightly, it's slightly different one side than the other because um, it's got the sentiment panel on the back. You should make sure that when you fold it, that sentiment panel is on the back and that's where you can write who the card is from. Okay, so the first thing to do is to score and fold where indicated. And what I like to do on the folds is to actually take this tool, this is my scoreboard tool, but you can use a ruler or anything like that, and just press firmly on the creases so it just gives a more professional finish on this part of the card. And on the other pieces it just makes it easier to actually thread them through the slots. Okay, so you'll take your first piece and I've folded this one already and if you just fold this down and you've got to go through the slot in both the front and the back of the tent card so you'll thread your table through you'll open your tent out and then on the back you just pull down on the tabs then that actually locks the table into place uh, the first piece to, to then slot in is, is the back piece and I just curve it slightly on the back edge uh, just to give it a balance so that it uh, stands up straight. Okay, now this is the most awkward piece that you're going to have to thread through and the easiest way that I've found to do it is to actually just thread one corner into the slot first. So I hold the card like this and I just put the first corner in first and then the second one just follows through quite easily. And then at the bottom of the card you just open out the tabs. Hope you can see that through there. Okay. And then the next piece to, to thread through is the largest piece and this goes right next to the front of the card. So again, you need to, to fold your tabs in, make sure you've got quite a crisp fold because then it does make it easier to actually get, get it through the slot. 
And I'm going to try and do this backwards. So you just pop it through there, just press down on it. And then you open out these tabs. And these are the tabs that, that actually keep your, your table straight and carry, carries the weight of the, the decoupage, etc. By the way, for this demonstration, I've actually put the decoupage already on the, on the pieces so that, um, so that it, it doesn't take me as long to actually do the demonstration. But you can leave the decoupage until last if, if you want to. But I think it's easier, probably easier to do it you know, while you've got your piece flat. On this front panel, um, the decoupage of the little pink security blanket is actually, all of the decoupage is put on with 3D pads, but I've just left the bottom piece of the blanket free because that actually goes into the slot and if you've got the 3D pad on the bottom, it, it does tend to stop it from, from going into the slot. So you just on this one just basically put it through the slot like that and, and there's your card. Um, there's several sentiments included in the kit. I've chosen the happy birthday one um, but there's another seven there and there's also a blank one where, where you can put your own peel off lettering on. And there's also six age numbers, one through six you could leave that off if you wanted and you know send this to to anyone it doesn't have to be for a child um, i think i was collecting teddies up until i was about 35 years old and it wasn't until my daughter said to me i think she was about four years old at the time she said uh, mum can i play with your teddies and i said no and i thought well this is silly because all they're doing is collecting dust so anyway, in the end, I said to my husband, you know, don't buy me any more teddies. Let my daughter play with the ones that I had. And, and then I started collecting doll's house stuff. So no difference, really. I'm just a child at heart. <laughs> OK, so that's the, the finished card. Again, the cup number for this card is cup 128403 underscore 425. There's also an envelope available for this card. Um, in the kit there's two envelopes. You've got this nicely patterned one and also um, a plain one. Um, the card folds completely flat and I'll show you how to do that. If you just pull, pull down on the tabs so that they sort of like straight out and then pull down on that same sheet. Um, because this is quite new card. It does, it does do it well when, you, when you've actually, when the card's actually dried. So it folds flat just like that. As you can see the table comes up. The card on the photo paper, it does take about 48 hours to dry actually, but when it does dry, this one I probably did about 50-60 hours ago, it's, it's really rigid. So, you know, just be wary that if you are sending it through the post, you know, it could be a bit floppy if you're sending it straight away, but um, if you wait for 48 hours, I'm sure there'll, there'll be no problems with it. So, once a person actually receives the card, all they need to do is just open it out like that, no problem. And there's your finished card. Um, if you'd like to take a look at uh, some more of my 3D designs, I've got lots of them. These are just a few of them. Um, I think I've got one for just about any occasion now. And um, please go and have a look at them at uh, www.crashyprint.com forward slash Sandy Birchall. And while you're over there, you might want to go and search for Crafty Bob and win yourself some money at the same time. I really appreciate you watching this demonstration. I've really enjoyed doing it. And I hope that you'll tune in for the next one.
Thank you very much.